Well, I must have been a really good boy this year because all of my wishes have come true. This is a brand new large Elegoo Neptune 3D printer. And in today's video, I'm gonna be getting this unboxed, set up, and I'm gonna be getting my very first prints up and running on it. And there is no way that I'm not gonna be printing a full-size helmet that I can wear off of this brand new Elgoo Neptune 3 Plus 3D printer. I am so crazy excited to have this on hand. Elgoo has basically listened to all the feedback that's been given about the Neptune series of printers that have come out over the past handful of years, including myself, who have just been asking for a larger version of the Neptune 3D printer. And they even took that a step further by basically taking a lot of the enhancements that have gone into the Neptune 3 and the Neptune 3 Pro and made a much larger variation of it. And it's very, very similar to the Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro. It's got a dual gear direct drive extruder where you're gonna be feeding filament in from the very top down through a filament runout sensor into that extruder where it's gonna be able to print basically any material that you wanna throw at this here, including TPU, which I haven't printed on this machine just yet. I definitely will be doing a follow-up video with printing a larger TPU print or a flexible material print here on the Neptune 3 Plus, but it's obviously got that much larger build volume of 320 by 320 by 400 millimeters. That is a significant size difference compared to the original Elegoo Neptune 2S 3D printer. And again, this is very similar to the Neptune 3 Pro where we also had the belt tensioners on the front and side axes of the printers. You have this magnetic touchscreen interface here that you're gonna be able to operate with the 3D printer. You've got an LED bar along the top as well. So if you wanted to get better view of your prints while you're printing or recording things, you'll be able to enable and disable that. It's also got auto mesh bed leveling here, but they're doing it with the twist because this is such a large machine, you actually have three wheels on each side of the build plate. That means you have six wheel and spring adjustment points on the build plate, plus that auto mesh bed leveling. So the process basically goes, you're gonna manually level the bed as best you can, and then you run through the auto mesh bed leveling, and then you can adjust the Z offset as you need to, either before printing or during an actual print. Now, this is something completely different that I've never seen on any other 3D printer where it's got six wheels on the bottom, plus the auto bed leveling. I don't even think I've ever seen a combination of the wheels plus some form of auto bed leveling on there other than like the, the PID tuning that you can see on some other 3D printers or that you might add on to a 3D printer. But this might be the perfect combination, especially for you being able to have such a larger build volume and not having to worry about having any dips or any low points in your build plate. Or if you do, you can just adjust one section of the build plate to help offset that and then re-level your build plate. One other thing that they're doing on this printer that's not seen on any of the other Neptune series of machines is that on the back of the machine, along those dual Z rods, there's also stabilizers there. There's basically a long metal rod that's gonna help stabilize the frame even further when you're you're printing larger objects. Now, it's certainly not as quiet as the Neptune 3 Pro. That was just crazy quiet, but it is still very quiet of a 3D printer here. I've got this running right here next to me while I'm recording and talking to you with this video, which is something that I rarely ever do, but the movement of this is very, very quiet thanks to the motors that they've got inside of the machine. Also, you're gonna hear the hum of the fan that's running here. They've got dual fans on each side of that direct drive extruder, very similar to, again, what we'd see there on the Neptune 3 Pro. And one thing that I'm loving that they've implemented based on the feedback from the community of users of the Neptune printers is that once your print has finished and the printer has fully cooled down, all of the fans completely shut down, so there's no noise whatsoever coming from the machine. And not only is the build volume of the printer really large compared to all of the other Neptune 3D printers, but the machine itself, the overall footprint of this machine is much larger than all the other Neptune 3D printers or most of the other Elegoo printers that are out there. So that's definitely gonna be something that you wanna consider, not just the build volume, but how much space this actually takes up. So let's actually talk about some of the things that I printed here on the Neptune 3 Plus. The very first thing that I went off and printed wasn't a Benchy, wasn't the typical test file. It was actually 
a file that's loaded on the SD card. That's the tool holder here for all the different parts that you can then mount on the back of the 3D printer. Now, I do have to warn you that I think this potentially could be an issue with this when it fully lifts up and is printing here if you're trying to use the full build volume of your 3D printer. So I might look into redesigning this so it can be mounted along the top and it's completely out of the way of any of the movements of the 3D printer. It's just something, again, to be cautious of if you decide to run off and print this for yourself and then mount it to the back. And I recently did a video on Lychee Slicer and how they now have FDM 3D printer support. And I went off and used that slicer to print my first cosplay piece, which this is primarily what I'm gonna be printing on this machine, is lots of helmets, lots of different armor parts. But this is the House of the Dragon crown that just fits beautifully here. I can't believe how well I ended up scaling this to actually fit my head and it fits properly here and printed pretty decently there with the 0.4 millimeter nozzle here. And I think it was some of the default settings that I typically run with for these type of machines. So something like 80 millimeters per second or 60 millimeters per second, 0.2 millimeter layer height, that sort of thing. So because this printer is so large and typically when I'm working with machines of this size, I will almost always wanna swap out the standard 0.4 millimeter nozzle with a 0.6. So that's exactly what I did. I just used a standard nozzle that I had laying around that I've had for years and years and years that I swap out on different machines. And I got this Yosh Studios Batman helmet up and running. And you might be thinking, Jesse, it's already printing here right next to you, how are you gonna be able to show this off? Well, uh, yeah, here's the problem. I actually printed this and it was a very rookie move that I made where I didn't actually scale it properly here. So as you can see, it's uh, yeah, just a tad bit too small for my head. But the details on this turned out so amazing. This might be one of the best looking FDM 3D prints that I've honestly ever produced. This was printed at 0.2 millimeter layer height, printed this at 80 millimeters per second. And again, uh, just the results on this are absolutely stunning. The very top even, where you typically see lots of ringing on cosplay prints there, like domes and helmets, yeah. Nothing really that crazy. At, again, a 0.2 millimeter layer height, no supports on the inside, just around the perimeter there. And I ended up using this black Ziltec filament that's almost like a matte black. And I'm loving how this looks. And unfortunately, I might have been able to squeeze out another helmet print but I just wasn't sure, so I didn't want to end up with a failed print and not having enough filament. So I ended up swapping it out with another spool, but not before I ended up creating a few test prints, which again, if you are doing cosplay prints, make sure to do some test prints here before you run off and do the full print. Don't make the same mistake I did. So I ended up scaling up the files to 108% size and 110%, and that's what I've got printing right here. So the 108 fits pretty snugly there, and it probably would fit okay, but I'm now printing this at 110% scale, which is gonna give me a little bit more wiggle room when it comes to actually taking this on and off of my head. Now, the other crazy thing about this new print that I'm running right now that we'll hopefully be able to take a look at before the end of the video here is that I bumped up the print speed by a good bit. Yeah, I bumped up the print speed to 150 millimeters per second, and so far it's looking really good. And before I ended up running off and printing this cowl, I did wanna run off and test this out to make sure that I wasn't crazy trying to run off that, that print speed. So I printed a helmet stand here and the base of this helmet stand was printed on the Neptune 3 Plus, and it's a really large base piece that I definitely would have not been able to print on any of my other Neptune printers unless I wanted to slice this up or reduce it in scale size. So this was printed at, again, at 0.2 millimeter layer height at that 150 millimeters per second, and it looks really clean. Now the bed leveling, it might not have been the absolute best. Like I could have gotten probably a little bit better squish in some areas, but overall, super impressed with how easy it was to use those six knobs to level this and then use the auto mesh bed leveling to get a almost perfect 
bottom layer for this really large print. I also printed the other parts over on the Neptune X with another 0.6 millimeter nozzle as well. And while we're waiting on this print to finish, I did wanna say a big, huge thank you to Elegoo for sponsoring today's video. They again are the makers of the Elegoo Neptune 3 Plus here. They are also the makers of some of the other amazing Elegoo machines that you've probably seen here on my channel over the course of made way too many years at this point. But if you're interested in more information about these machines, you'll find links to those down below. And more specifically here, I wanted to speak to the fact of the pricing for this machine and the release date. Release date, I don't have that information at this time or if it's gonna be a pre-order or just directly released on something like Amazon and Elegoo's website. But I'm hoping it's before the end of the year. If I've got it in my hands here, that hopefully means it's pretty much ready to roll out and might already be on its way to their Amazon warehouses. But the price point is supposed to be listed at $350. $350 for this machine is just unreal to me. That's a crazy good deal for a machine that's gonna be able to nonstop print out basically all of my cosplay needs here. And they also have an upcoming even larger printer, the Neptune Max, which I believe is gonna be 420 by 420 by 500 millimeters and is gonna be under $500. Now let's see if I can actually get this off without, there we go. It's a much safer way of me to remove the helmet from the billboard without completely falling off backwards off the printer. All right, and here's the real test. I've got the supports removed. Let's try and see if this, oh my God, I'll get it over my chin. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. That now is a near perfect fit for this Batman cowl by Yo Studios. I also printed the back panel for the helmet as well that can be magnetically attached thanks to these little spots for magnets that I'll be attaching on the back so that I can have the cowl fully assembled and wearable. I also wanna say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support. I'm gonna be working on creating and sharing some Neptune 3 profiles here for the Neptune 3 Pro and the Neptune 3 Plus here so that once this machine is available, you'll have some profiles that you can download and start printing with it. And let me know what you think about this much larger Elegoo Neptune 3 Plus. I am absolutely loving the results that I'm seeing so far from printing with this, you'll definitely be seeing more videos and prints from me with this machine. I'm gonna be actually printing another variation of this same Batman cowl with a longer nose because as you could see there previously, it wasn't exactly covering up my big schnoz there. And what's also really intriguing about this machine that again, I haven't seen on any other machine is that combination of the six bed wheels plus the 49 point mesh bed leveling system. So very intriguing, something very different and so far, is working wonderful for me. But hey, thanks so much for watching you all and I'll see you next time. Bye now. Also at a potential $350, that is just insane for a printer of this size with this many features that can produce cosplay prints like this. This might be the de facto machine that I end up recommending to basically everyone that's interested in printing things for cosplay. Plus, I'm excited to get my hands on that max version of this machine, hopefully in the next month or so. We'll see when that actually arrives. You guys will be seeing it here.